I'm Ian Rogan, Chair of the Central Tablelands Local Land Services Board. I've been involved with Local Land Services since its inception in late 2013, early 2014. Central Tablelands community, but also the Australian community in general, is beginning to become more aware of and value uh, issues, culture, language associated with our First Nations people. The Lighting the Path is a, a, a new publication, but the result of 10 or more years of work where local land services staff have consulted with regional community groups, Aboriginal groups, land managers, uh, and have collected some data on what the benefits and effects of cool season burning which is a, a long-term Aboriginal cultural methodology um, which differs quite a lot between different landscapes, different climates. But this book brings together the learning for the community, for management of fire, for management of environments as we move forward. The collaborators on the work that has contributed to this book included the Rural Fire Service, um, land care groups, farm managers and local Aboriginal land councils and other groups around the region and across the state. Hi, my name is Doug Sutherland, or oh, Dougie they call me. I'm a proud Radry man, just on the fire book that Greg has done. It was a privilege to go up to Cape York and meet uh, Victor Stephenson who introduced us to traditional fire burning and bring that knowledge back to New South Wales, especially to Orange. It was an experience for me and practice our knowledge back here on traditional burning on our own land. I think the fire burns down here went real well. I've been a firefighter for 50 plus years and the traditional way of European burning is go in, light her up, cook it and then walk away. You've got the numbers, that's all you're worried about. Whereas traditional burning is actually looking after the whole environment and doing your job at the same time which is wonderful. The book that's just come out, coming out is really great. It shows people how to burn, when to burn, and then with research we're going to be doing into the future, we should make life a lot easier for all of us to actually go out there and do a hazard reduction burn, cultural slash cultural burn, and do it correctly for the environment, not just for those. We had a partnership with LLS to introduce um, cool birds and fire burning within our region um, but that knowledge is now coming back into our community and hopefully over the next you know three four or five years that we can build that knowledge build the resilience and build a team back to continue those practices within our region and as an introduction and just a bit of knowledge sharing is fantastic and um, I can't wait for it to be launched This book, which reports uh, 10 years of very interesting work, uh, is available as a publication via the Local Land Services Central Tablelands website or by getting in touch with any of our offices across Central Tablelands Local Land Services.